and joining us now here today is Tomasz Arłowski, former Polish ambassador to France and Italy. Hello and welcome to TVP World. Glad that you could join us. Good morning. So the results of the elections in France and the subsequent announcement by Emmanuel Macron have been making the headlines all across Europe and beyond, and for some very good reasons. The rise of the far right in France carries some profound implications. So if you were to say what's going to happen next, and is Emmanuel Macron actually doing the right thing uh, with you know, the dissolution of parliament and the decision to go for snap elections, what would you say, what would your take on that be? It is a very risky movement. Nobody knows what will be the result of his decision. In the past, at least two times in the, in the recent past, French president decided to dissolve the National Assembly, hoping to have for the next presidential election uh, more stable stability, uh, stability uh, majority for, 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 for his candidate. As you know, in three years, it will be French presidential election. And my first uh, remark about the decision of Mr. Macron was that uh, preparation for the presidential elections started earlier than normally, one year earlier than normally. It means uh, this, uh, this uh, next general elections to be held in three weeks will be the beginning of the running for the French presidency. And probably Mr. Macron is assuring for the next presidential election better condition for the uh, future candidate for the presidency, who will be his personal successor, coming from his, uh, uh, his party, his movement, Renaissance. Right. I do know that you do not have a crystal ball, but I still have to throw it out there because we do have to speculate on what if Marie Le Pen wins, because um, when it comes to uh, no, especially France's commitment to Ukraine, well, uh, no, Emmanuel Macron has been a staunch supporter of Ukraine. We do know that Marie Le Pen is is not, frankly speaking. So how do you think that uh, the commitment of France to Ukraine might change in the future? And what will happen if Marie Le Pen wins again? Uh, first, Emmanuel Macron will remain president of the French Republic. And following the French constitution, it is himself, the president, who is responsible for the foreign policy and defense of the country. All decisions concerning support of France to Ukraine, all decisions uh, um, concerning foreign relations of France, it is the, uh, the decision of President himself. It is so-called domaine réserve. It is the famous expression from the from the uh, Constitution of of Fifth French Republic, who is considering. Uh, foreign affairs and defense of the country as domain reserve of the president. And in this regard, the president will not or would not share his exclusive competence with the future uh, uh, chief of government who will be the next prime minister of France. So now coming back to the possible election results, um, Many people say that Emmanuel Macron has gambled by deciding to go for early elections right now. So what is he actually counting on? Apparently there are two possible scenarios. The first one is that he believes the turnout is going to be very different and that many voters who decided not to actually you know, turn up for, president, for European elections are going to vote in the national elections and they are going to vote for him and not for Marine Le Pen's party. The second option has been described as slightly Machiavellian, uh, suggesting that Macron might be willing to sacrifice the leadership when it comes to uh, the government, uh, basically believing that if Marine Le Pen wins, if people uh, are allowed to see how bad they are at governing, he will be in a better position to win the presidential elections in 2027. So what would you say about these two options? Which one is mo more likely? As I said in the past, in the recent French history, uh, we, can, we can find 
both, uh, both alternatives. In 1988, Prime Minister Jacques Chirac, who ran the presidency of the Republic, being Prime Minister, he, uh, he was in a bad position because starting as, as Prime Minister, quite unpopular uh, Prime Minister, uh, he, he was a loser of, of presidential ele elections. The same with uh, uh, socialist Lionel Jospin in 2002, when he started to run presidency of the Republic in the presidential election. He, losing, he, lose the, uh, he lost the uh, elections because he was uh, involved in the very heavy uh, competition with the president. Uh, in this model of, of government called uh, cohabitation. It is one side for saying prime minister who is serving president from another political board, like it could be uh, uh, Madame Le Pen with, uh, with President Macron, uh, will be in the, in the bad situation, in the bad position for running a presidential, presidential office. On the other uh, hand, we have the experience of Jacques Chirac, who decided to dissolve the um, uh, National Assembly in 1997, and he lost. He utterly lost. Uh, you see, we can have both, both alternatives um, uh, in mind, thinking what will happen in France in three weeks, or more exactly, in a month, because the second round of presidential elections will be held in, 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 in uh, uh, July 7th. Yeah, absolutely that right that we we have to brace for multiple scenarios but one thing is certain here is that public sentiment is deeply divided in france with growing frustration over economic conditions immigration policies and social reform which means that there is a potential also for increased protests so we might see also uh, some of those in france in the nearest future in the meantime thank you so much sir for your insights thank you for coming to bpp thank you have a nice day